So David, you've decided on a sailies trailer, obviously, mm -hmm. it's there. Mark and I and you were chatting, we agreed that we would take it out, take it to a few locals, it's test number one, it's prototype, it's whatever you want to call it, and now it's time for feedback. Are you ready? Oh, that's it, that's what we're here <laughs> for. Are you ready, Mark? <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> Out of two Mark, miles. what's, you know, is there a need for another, you know, when you're selling all sorts of products out there, is the market first and foremost not saturated? Yeah, it probably is. I suppose everybody would say, why are you doing a silage trailer? But I think because the lads has been so successful with their low loaders, um, there has been a lot of people inquiring, wanting another option. There is a lot of very good manufacturers out there, so the guys know they have to be top of the tree to and, compete in a very tough market. And David, that's what you're trying to do here. You, you, well, this is, you know, by all accounts, this is a finished product. This is, this is ready. You could put a price tag on this, and probably Mark could go and sell if you. I think that's a very fair comment based on how the finish of this one has come out. But that's not what you're doing. No, it's, uh, you say, you, we've given it to you, Gareth, you've uh, sort of done your thing with it, lent it out to these our guys, um, they've given us a bit of feedback now, it's time for us to, to sort of listen to what they're saying and deliver on, on putting their name on it and putting their stamp onto what they know. Absolutely. So, um, well, yeah. this is about everybody wants to know. So, first fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, comments where axles are too far back, just making the 20-foot trailer a wee bit hard to manoeuvre and no steering axle on this trailer. Yep, I, going forward, um, sort of time restraints were against us whenever uh, we had got this. Um, we had decided that we wanted to build it. Um, so we just uh, went with the 42180 straight axle. But as you say, um, going forward, uh, a steering axle would be a, a great adaption to this. Happy enough with, with how it handles so far, but as you say, manoeuvrability or the size of the trailer definitely had affects that. So it's something we have to do going forward. So I think, yeah, that's one thing. I mean, that's just, most people buying a 20 foot trailer plus are buying it by default now with a steer and axle. Mm -hmm. And I think it's when the guys that were trying it were mostly using steer and axles, they knew they didn't have the steer and axle. I think that was the Aye. comment was passed um, to us. And up here locally, that could be a challenge. I think the second thing was commented to me was, You'd know her for the skid. <laughs> <laughs> was no, that an oversight? A, there's a, yeah, there's I a, think we'll blame the engineer. There's a lot of options, I suppose, but um, I, maybe there's a quite a, a bit of an oversight. But uh, look, it's all, all food for thought. We uh, Everything and everybody send us, we'll take that on. Well, I'll give you the first negative, the first positive. Have everybody thought it handled really well? It, it towed nice in the road. It was good. It was steady. It's where you want it to be. On the back of that, the next thing that was coming up was capacity. They felt for a 20 foot trailer, maybe just wasn't enough of capacity. Now, I suppose in Irish terms, 20 foot means 16 ton. Uh -huh. So I think by the looks of things, when you look at the internal and the measurements, and this is just basically tape measure, stretching things, squeezing things, guys want a bit more capacity. We feel it's a little bit narrow. Ah, yep, yeah, but uh, you say we're, we're always open for letting these guys have it and, and seeing what they think of it. So as you say, it's something we definitely have to look at. Um, the design of the, of the half pipe and maybe pulling right a bit wider here and, and stretching and I think a bit taller as well. So yeah, that'll give a bit more capacity, I suppose. Well, that's what the guys want. They want to mm -hmm. take as much as they can to the pit, things like that there. Yeah. Then one of the slight issues we found ourselves was, but this is easy fixed, I believe, tail door needs to go a bit higher. Aye, we found that She's ourselves, good. yep, the He's pivot point is just, I could be doing, we're going forward four or five inches, it's just whenever you're watching the videos and watching all the feedback, um, the clearance of that load when it's really, really heaped, it is just catching the top of the load, so, aye, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a baseline for us, um, and we just have to work on going forward and that. Everything else, I think the light bar's not staying. I think we've already all talked about this, but it's important that the people on cameras hear this. Aye. You're going to change how you do the lights around the back end. We feel that bar's a bit wide, but the way I've explained it to people was, Balmoral Show has gone up, you know, them boys forgot the big old stand there. They wanted a trailer on the stand. And <laughs> something had to be bait on there to show that it had lights. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard you talking about I like a bolt system up and tidier, just a wee bit further in so that it doesn't get caught. Uh, 
I hope you weren't lying. No, that uh, uh, when the axles come forward, that maybe six, eight inches, that'll allow a bit more room in the back of there. We're going to design like a, a horseshoe bracket on there, so um, your tailgate actually bolts on. So you can have it in different finishes, you can have it in a galvanised or a different colour, or um, if one's got damaged then it's on off, so um, aye, that, that'll work I think. Yeah, and okay, I know it's prototype number one, but um, how does the green man work with that back door? <laughs> he, he, he can't get green out of it. Uh, yep, oh, Mark's already given me a tell off for that already, <laughs> so he has, uh, um, they're worried about the back door, but as, as just the drawn, when it came through to us, we literally had a uh, time constraints to build it. We said, we'll build it here now, we'll test it, we'll see how it goes there. We knew fine rightly there's going to be adaptions, so the back door is one of the adaptions with the green door. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of changes, but they're very subtle. Um, nothing yeah, major that we can't sort of overcome very, very quickly. So, that's off to Anthony and Sean now to yeah. see their work their magic. We, you put this trailer on the big plate at the front with the, with the bolt in, and we, we messed about, we had it in the bottom hole, we moved it to the middle hole. We think we have found the, the, the sort of the best overall angle for most trailers, you know, there, uh, which means then you'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to shorten that off or either straight bolt on with a six or nine or whatever yep. it is, and either, you know, people will be able to pick their spoon, their swivel hitch, or their, or their straight draw, but yep. whatever, whatever, Aye. whatever they want. Would you ever consider lengthening the drawbar in below there? I will. Um, uh, you or mentioned try one with it longer. Ah, uh, you try. You mentioned that they're actually um, pulling that on back. There's plenty of room in there that we can do that. So maybe it's uh, it's something we have to try. Um, try it in Mark II. See how it fares out. Um, same again with the bolt assembly. That it works for your spoon, swivel, uh, straight. Um, but yeah, there's a pile of room in there that we can adapt, so if it needs to be, uh, maybe we'll try the Mark II that bit longer and see how it fares out. A couple of guys thought the back door was a little bit slow at going up and down, but I kind of explained to them that originally you thought it was too fast, you put on a bit of a restrictor there, so yep. that really is fettling. Aye. <laughs> Aye. That is finding <laughs> a nice speed among everybody that we're happy with. Obviously a back door that's bang, bang, bang all the time, there's a lot of excess pressure there. So it's it's a case of just, I wouldn't worry about that, and that's what I kind of said to him, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, sights at the front were good, good positive comments where it was actually cool being able to see into the floor of the trailer, but maybe just take them up that wee bit higher because there's that wee gap at the front we can't see, and it was just leaving in certain track, every tractor you sit different, Aye. every tall person, short person sits <laughs> different. <laughs> but, just seeing the corner of the trailer at the top is what people want to see when they're maybe filling their own loads with the shape of the spout of the harvester just dropping in at the yep. back door sort of that eye line for them i think you may be seeing that when you were in it yourself when you yep. look around it was hard just to see that corner Aye. but that's one more row of those we yeah. you know so that that's minor mm -hmm. but this is what's going to make the difference now yep that, that's the difference between a good um, trailer and a really good trailer i think you know how to handle running gear so we're not teaching grannies how to suck eggs here but i noticed she would maybe trail the front wheel before she would trail the other two if you hit the brakes. Uh -huh. I wonder, could the load sensing go back a bit? Aye, just uh, maybe fine tuning a few things um, that we know ourselves we have to sort of have to do. Um, but hey, the test, that's it's all on the test, that's why we test them. Um, we like the feedback, yes. This you is drove it, Mark? Yes, I obviously drew the last 10 or 12 load there, badly. <laughs> Glad you admitted that. That was dodgy, I had to get out. <laughs> I, don't think any, I don't think any local sales contractor is going to be offering me a job. Yeah. Pulled really nicely. I do see your point with the front, just that little bar at the top does restrict your view. Don't need the ones lower down, you could lift them up and that would be a very mm. easy fix. Pulled really nicely. Is a little bit narrow, but as I say, those are all tweaks that the guys are going to do in version 2. But oh, generally, yeah. I thought it overall it was a nice trailer and I have to say the lads turned it around within two three weeks you know I, I I I think you know the massive positive here it sounds sometimes we go on social media and we're all very critical and everybody's very critical in today's world that's the yeah. that's what we've that's what we have bred but like you know if we're getting into nitty gritty stuff that other guys would like to see no pipes on the external if they could be channeled up through tucks them away and I know a great example of this, having been, having seen it in action one time, trailer leans in towards a gate post. You don't want to be hitting gate posts, but when it happens, you don't want to be taking off pipes either. Uh, <laughs> you don't want a double, uh, a double-edged sword, um, uh, that kind of thing. But other than that, yeah, I think capacity, steering axle, 
you find your nice height and I think just build on that and, yeah. and look at the back door, just a few things around the back door, green shoot as well in the yeah, next exactly. one because by the time the next one's out, there's a possibility it could go to green and that's going to prove to everybody that you've got that door right. Yeah. Yeah. Samples. Mm -hmm. that's it. And more lights. Yeah. <gasps> Do you want to know the biggest flaw of the whole trailer though? What's that? Need side marker lights on Aye. at the back. Can't see what you're about to hit. <laughs> you shouldn't be happening. Hit the knee. Hey, but if the axes weren't as far back, we mightn't. <laughs> no, the, the, you have no idea how much you look for them in a trailer. The wee mm. boys that poke out at the side, they help in the evening time. That, sure. That's it. And other than that, guys, I think everybody that's had it has thought for your first effort, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm delighted to see it. I know, I know with Forgies behind it pushing and Mark behind it pushing, you know, you have a very potentially strong market for this trailer but it has to be good it has to be top drawer because yep. you're in the land of trailers Aye, that's exactly. it. no offense meant to the rest of the world here but you're in the land of trailers so it has to be not right it has to be on perfect. point it has to be pretty perfect uh, yep. yep but thanks for letting us take it around trusty old fast track has delivered it to a few people they've tried it and they're all keen enough to chat to you behind closed doors, David, if you want. <laughs> oh, yep. If you want to, you know, get their absolute internal feedback on it, they're, they're, they're more than welcome. And I think it's great that local guys are prepared to help local guys get a, get her letting, get her going. Yeah. So, yeah, and we really do appreciate you taking the effort nope. to really push ah, it. Ah, listen, I, I enjoy it. We'll maybe trade a low loader handy <laughs> money or something. Uh. Well, maybe, <laughs> my bill will come some way. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but you have lots of different things to consider, David. Aye, and, that's it. and I know, you know, not just you were here today, the engineer, every, you know, the, the, there's a big effort to get this right, and I just think that's fantastic. And, you know, not many people would stand there and allow a big agent like me to say what people didn't like but I think that's testament to what you're trying to do yeah well, we, we, I tip um, my hat to you I'm looking for looking forward to version two, two. I hope Aye. we see it this year I don't know when we're going to see it but I hope we see it this year and I hope we see it in time for a wee bit more grass if possible so yep. get your finger out <laughs> and then that means Mark's got a product then to sell next year yeah. exactly that's it thank you and that's how the world works that's so how the world you. works hey good man thanks very much folks thanks